large number of Americans could be walking around with the coronavirus and not even know it. That is why the CDC has recommended that people wear face masks in public. It's not to protect yourself, it's to protect others. So how many asymptomatic cases are out there? Do we know how they spread? Right. But should we start in, in the usual place we begin with these sorts of topics, Heather? All, all things COVID-19, Jason? We don't know. We don't know. We don't we know. Don't know. Uh, yeah. But they are doing a lot of research sure. about this, and the estimates are all over the place, 25% sometimes, 50% sometimes. Just in the past day or two, we got information that, you, you know that uh, ship, the USS Theodore Roosevelt, right. two-thirds of the sailors who tested positive on hmm. that ship were asymptomatic. Right. Compare that, if you remember, to that Diamond Princess cruise, 18% were asymptomatic. So it could have something to do with you just have a much healthier population on that ship, that first ship, rather than on the cruise ship. Sure, there. makes sense. Right. Younger, yeah. uh, for sure, a younger mm -hmm. population, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So they had it, but no symptoms. That's what we're talking about when we say asymptomatic. Right. And this uh, is, uh, to me, equal parts uh, scary mm -hmm. and reassuring. Yes. Depending on how, <laughs> how you look at Absolutely. it, right? Absolutely. But think about it, how much harder it is to control this virus. You know, back in February, when all we were saying was, stay home if you're sick, that's when they thought the infections from asymptomatic cases were very rare. Right. Now we know, you know, if we're talking about half the population, that whole yeah. thinking of stay home and you're sick isn't going to work. And that's where the testing, that antibody testing, uh, will come into play as we continue down the road here. Sure, because you or I or both of us could have had this already. And never know No it. symptoms, mm -mm. which in a way, if you get uh, some immunity from it, mm -hmm. would be great. Like, it would be great if I had it, had no symptoms, right. and fine. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that actually could help us uh, get the economy back rolling again, right? Right, but that's where they need to figure this out. So right yeah. now, there's a lot of testing. A lot of it's actually going on in California, and what they need need to do is get a random sample, a large random mm -hmm. sample mm -hmm. out there of people who have not shown any signs to get them tested and see what they're finding. Now, in some of the smaller samples they've done, they found between two and four percent of people in one mm -hmm. community in Northern California have been exposed to the disease and didn't even know it. Now, do we know if the asymptomatic people are spreading it? So, so these, like, do you have right. enough of the right. of the virus to mm -hmm. spread it if you're asymptomatic? The assumption is that they are, the and, or that they can, right. and they have like found cases. China documented some cases of asymptomatic spread, spread. there because the virus they have found the virus can be living inside of you. So it's likely that when you shed it by either talking or singing or really just having close contact with someone for a, you know more than 10 minutes or so it can spread that way. So this is why we have the six foot right. thing mm -hmm. from everybody. So right. even though, and, and the mask is just another layer of protection. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, all a lot of things to research as with all with COVID-19, but yeah. this is a really big one that I think scares a lot of people. Sure, scary, but it, mm -hmm. bear in mind if a lot of us have had it, right. uh, that that could be really helpful too. Absolutely.